Hey, I'm Katie, and welcome back to another episode of Premiere Pro Tips. Today, I want to show you how I edit vertical videos in Premiere Pro for Instagram stories and IGTV. I've been super into making micro content for IGTV lately. I think like a three to five minute video is perfect for the platform, something just fun and casual and super easy to do, but I think it's great to do a little bit of editing just to make it a bit more polished. It's super easy to edit vertical videos in Premiere Pro, so if you're used to the editing software, this is just gonna be a very slight change for you, and then you'll be off to the races. The first step to editing vertical video in Premiere Pro is of course opening up your project and then creating a new sequence. The sequence settings is where this all goes down, so make sure you pay attention to that. This will work for you whether you filmed in vertical or horizontal. So if you have horizontal footage that you want to use on IGTV, Follow these steps carefully and you can make sure that that happens. So the first step is to create a new sequence. My default is always the DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second because I use that for all of my YouTube videos. I like that one because I shoot a lot of stuff in 60 frames per second and then use that for slow motion in 30 frames. So I think this is just a good default setting. By default, this is gonna give you a 16 by nine horizontal HD video that um, you kind of see as a standard on YouTube. To change that up, all you need to do is go to sequence settings and then flip around 1920 and 1080 until the aspect ratio says nine by 16. Then hit okay and you're ready to go. You have a vertical sequence that you can now edit in. You can still use horizontal footage in this sequence. All you have to do is drag your horizontal clip onto the timeline. You'll see that it won't fill up the entire screen of course, but if you select your clip and then go into the effect controls panel, you can change the scale and zoom in if you want it to fill the entire screen. Alternatively, if you wanna use the clip but you don't wanna zoom in crazy far, you can create a color mat, which is just a colored background that you can slide in underneath the video clip so that you can have white, blue, whatever color you want in the background other than black to fill up the screen around your horizontal footage. Of course, if you did shoot in vertical, this makes it all the more easy. Rather than doing all the steps I described at the beginning, all you have to do is import your vertical footage and pull it onto the timeline and then allow the timeline to change to the video settings of your clip. It's important if you are using horizontal footage, when you drag it into the timeline, make sure you click maintain sequence settings so that you'll still have a vertical timeline to work in. So from here on, it's very easy. You can just edit your video as you would normally in Premiere, but I do have a few quick suggestions. If you are creating this video for Instagram stories or IGTV, there's a number of things you can do to make this video feel more native to Instagram. I think one thing that absolutely kills engagement on social media platforms is just copy and pasting your YouTube video onto Instagram TV and assuming people are gonna consume it the same way they do on YouTube. They just don't. So you need to add a couple other details in there to make it clear that you have crafted this with some sort of care to make it for Instagram. A few ways that I really like to do this are by adding titles and emojis that feel very Instagram story-ish. You can try to use the same fonts that Instagram stories does, but even if you don't do that, it's still gonna feel a little bit more like it's meant for Instagram if you add those things in. Another really important feature of making videos, especially for Instagram stories, but as well for IGTV, is using captions. The majority of users on mobile are not wearing headphones and they are not listening to the audio of your videos. So it's really important that you include some kind of textual indication of what you're talking about or just full on open captions that are burned into your video. If you're interested in how you can create open captions for your Instagram videos in Premiere Pro, let me know in the comments below and I can do a full tutorial of how to do it a lot quicker than just transcribing it because I hate doing that. There is a simpler way. Let me know if you want to hear it in the comments. Other than that, once you're finished adding all of your little Instagram-y details, you can export the video as normal and then upload it to Instagram TV or airdrop it to your phone to post to Instagram stories. A really quick and automated way to make your video ready for Instagram stories is by downloading the app Cut Story to your phone. It will take any video clip you import into it and cut it into 15 second clips 
so that it's ready to upload to Instagram stories. I used to do this just manually in Premiere Pro, but trust me, it's a lot quicker just using Cut Story. And if you don't like that it has a watermark in the free version, you can always just add a location tag or something to cover it up. All right, and that's my really simple tutorial here in Premiere Pro Tips on how to edit vertical video in Premiere Pro. Please do let me know if you have any questions about what I went over in the video in the comments below and I will definitely answer them. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe for more if you wanna see more videography and editing tutorials just like this one. As always, I love you all, I hope you're following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one, bye!